This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Well, this is Space Week. I don't know if you guys know that. I think it's October 4th until 10th. Um, mm -hmm. So we're doing a lot of space stuff here on this show. And most of us out there have tried Google Earth at one time or another. Um, but did you know that you can actually use it to explore outer space, the moon, and Mars? Um, well, kicking it off, a Google Sky. Now, you can either do this within the Google Earth application, or you can actually do it from the website. Um, this is Google Sky right here. You can do it to uh, use it to search for things like uh, celestial objects, from planets to galaxies, and constellations, too. Um, typically, you're supposed to be able to type in a planet up here at the top and then search for it, but for the past couple of days, the search hasn't been working. Oh, I don't no. know. For some reason, I'm like, this must be a shutdown thing. <laughs> Maybe they're getting the information from NASA or something, and it's not working anymore. But uh, So that part isn't working. You can also put in galaxy names and all sorts of stuff if you want to find them within Sky. But down at the bottom, you can actually browse through a lot of really cool stuff. So here's the constellations, like I mentioned. And they're kind of stick figure-ish, but I think they're pretty cool. You can zoom out to see all of them lined up like that. And if you go back to home, you can see the, um, let's see, the Spitzer Infrared Showcase, which is pretty awesome. You can see all of the images from the Spitzer Telescope. Click on some, click on some. Let's see. Click on it. Oh, and then you get more information about them here uh, to get that. Or you can check out the Galax Ultraviolet Showcase if you go back home. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Get more information can about you that, too. How far too. can you zoom in on them? Let's see. Let's find out, Patrick. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's a little low res once you zoom in a little bit well, further. It's like a zillion miles but away. It's so still pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And then we can do um, Google.com. Google we can do Moon by typing in moon there. And this is pretty awesome as well. Um, <laughs> at Google Moon, you can take a little lunar stroll, for example. Um, you can see all of the different Apollo landing sites. So if we want to go to Apollo 14, 15. Notice there is no 13, <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> they, they, they just l did a loop. <laughs> you get some information about that. Um, and clicking on them brings up information about that mission. Um, if you want to view the moon surface in Ooh. 3D, Zoom you in can to do see that too. Zoom in to see additional place marks. Um, if you have the Google Earth, actually, uh, the Google Earth um, application installed, you can do like, like Street View, but for the moon, <laughs> Google which is Street awesome. Google Street View thing. Um, so you can take a tour of all the landing sites uh, narrated by Apollo astronauts. Uh, 3D models of landed spacecraft. You can zoom into 360-degree uh, photos to see the astronauts' footprints, and also check out like rare TV footage of the landings and the missions and stuff too. So that's neat. And then finally, <laughs> we've got Mars, Google Mars, and I think this is probably Just my one favorite. More thing. <laughs> yeah, um, at the top here, you can view things like regions. You click on there, click on them to get a little bit closer. You can do spacecraft. So we can see, oh, we've launched a lot of stuff there. Yeah, we have, we sure have. Let's see if we can find Curiosity. There it is. At what point does it That's turn where into litter? Is. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can view all the different canyons and mountains and dunes, etc. At the top right, you can toggle between elevation, uh, visible, mm -hmm. like there, and then infrared which I think is pretty cool. Um, you can zoom in pretty close to see the features of the planet. Of course, the entire planet isn't on here, wow. um, but it's still cool to be able to pan around to get a close look at some of the features that you hear about, you know, watching stuff from NASA and JPL. That's really cool. It is absolutely cool. So yeah, check it out. Google, Google Sky, Google Mars, Google Moon. We're going to have some of our favorite uh, iOS and Android space-related apps on Wednesday's show. And if you're wondering why there's no NASA, if you're watching this sometime in the future, it's because the government was closed, and all of NASA's websites do that. Sad face. Sad face. Bad time for Space Week. But, unfortunately, you have an awesome interview coming up. I do. We're going to be speaking with Bob Ackfordowsi of JPL. You may know him as Mohawk Guy. Uh, but first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable, .NET addresses are only $8.99 a year, they're also reliable and easy to use. The folks at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. 
That's 20% and big time savings. Don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think domain.com.